Welcome to the connection testing video on Wojo Market Channel. In this connection test video, we mainly use SkyJoy H30 remote control, SkyJoy C10 gimbal camera, and the CUAV V6X flag controller. We use the three cables, power and network control cable, POW with Xbox cable, and the Telemo 1 cable. Some of them are the same as the last connection test, but the flight controller and cables are different. First, we use the power and network control cable. This cable needs to be made by yourself, according to the wire sequence on the picture. 7-pin interface connects to the C10 camera. 4-pin interface connects to the network port of H30 receiver. And another wire for power supply to power the camera. When wiring, please pay attention to the correct wire sequence. Otherwise, it may cause the camera gimbal not to display after connection. Next is the Telemo 1 cable, which is connected to the output of H30 receiver and Telemo 1 port of flight controller for data transmission. Let me show you the next cable. This cable also needs to be made by yourself, according to the wire sequence on the picture. Be sure to pay attention to the position of wire sequence. 6 pin interface connects to the POW with S bus port of H30 receiver. 5 pin interface connects to the RC port of flight controller. And the other wire splits are to connect to the power supply. We connected the power supply to the gimbal, H30 receiver, and the flight controller respectively. Now look at the remote controller. Open FPV of SkyJoy. screen can already display and uh, we can control the direction of the gimbal. Then open ground station of SkyJoy. We can also control the direction of the gimbal. Finally, open Q ground control. Enter settings to input the video stream link of C10 camera. The video stream link can be found in instruction menu for the camera. The camera can be used after completing these settings, indicating a successful connection. This connection test video is finished. Thank you for watching. Please follow us to watch more about the testing videos. You can also contact us if you have any other technical questions.